The Automaton is a fiction story. It's a, a, a little novel that I wrote and illustrated based on a true fact, which was the evacuation of the ghetto of Venice in the afternoon of the early December 1942 from the fascists and the German troops. The story is a, a story of an old Jewish man living in the ghetto of Venice, which is very alone and poor. He was a former watchmaker, so he decided to build an automaton to keep him company. It's a story was told to me and my brother from my father when he was little. So one day I was in a subway sitting in New York, and in front of me was this old Jewish man sitting. And I was looking at him, and I thought, this is the old man, he's the watchmaker. So that was the spark that made me start to think about the, making the, the story real. During the 40s, an old Jewish man lived in a ghetto of Venice. He spent his time wandering through his neighborhood, thinking of his only passions, books and automatons. His solitude was also the solitude of Venice during the winter of 1942. Many Jews had already escaped from the ghetto. One afternoon, the old man decided to construct an automaton in order to keep himself company. The next day, he got to work. He found the head in a thrift shop. In a few months, the automaton was ready. He named him Nino. Every evening at 6.30, Nino Gears began to move and raising a glass, he said, to your health, my friend. Satisfied, the old man resumed his wandering around Venice. Nino spent his days sitting by the window. The months passed and the old man became more and more attached to the automaton. One night, the old man had a strange dream. The next day, the city was deserted. In the afternoon, the evacuation of the ghetto began. The Jewish were taken away. Some escaped from the roof. The old man took Nino in his arm and hid in an inch behind the bookcase. The fascists entered the house of the old man. It was exactly 6.30 in the evening. The automaton began to raise his arm to make the toast. To your health, my friend. The old man held Nino tightly in the last embrace, knowing that their hand had arrived. But suddenly, the gears came to health. The automaton said nothing. The fascists left the house. The night was quiet. The old man wrapped Nino in a blanket, and at the first light of dawn, he threw him in a canal. It began to snow. By late morning, Venice was covered in white. The end. I used to use dolls to make a life in my, my world. At one point, I decided to be me in my, into my world. So I decided to walk into my, my little box. All the characters are always me. So in a, maybe in one image you see eight of me, six of me, seven of me, but I want to be the only one. I use it like very simple material that everybody can find in any way, almost any, everywhere. It's like cardboard, wood, clay. That, that's an easy process. The difficult one is that to think about what you want to build and then create and, make, and then take a photograph to, which makes sense and have the right dimension, the right proportion, uh, the right depth, you know, and say something. I bought a coat that I'm wearing this picture a few years ago. I always really love it. I tried to use it, but then I couldn't go out because I felt ridiculous. I, I thought it was the only way I can wear was my, my shoebox models. It's uh, the place where I would like to be without coat. <laughs>